from the upper Michigan, I was raised with my mom and dad, and by the age of five, they broke up in an abusive relationship. Then I moved down to the lower Michigan, and probably about age 10, uh, my mom worked a lot. She uh, worked a lot of jobs. She wasn't around very much. Sleeping or working was mostly what she did. We had a babysitter. We had to have babysitters while she worked because we were young. He, uh, he molested me and I think that's when I started doing drugs and it just little things here and there. And then we moved a lot, always moving. So we moved again, got to about 16. I started doing what I wanted to do. I didn't finish high school. More and more drugs, uh, I became pregnant. I was just looking for love because it never was. Once I had that child, I couldn't do what normal kids my age were doing, like partying or whatever. I didn't finish school. I got pregnant again. I was in an abusive relationship with him for about six years. I went and worked for a while. I worked the whole time with my children. And then I got pregnant again. And um, another abusive relationship and brought on more drugs. So I couldn't handle it with the abusive relationship with, that I was in. And I moved to Louisiana. I took my two kids. My third child was not able to come with me. So I was here for a little while. I was in very, very deep depression, not being able to have my other child. I got into another relationship where I started selling drugs because I felt like that was making more money. So I sold drugs, drugs for about six years and then it got to where it was becoming really bad and I ended up doing prison time. So I was in prison for a little while and got out, thought I was gonna do good. By the time I got my completion papers of parole, I was back doing drugs again and just pretty much went downhill again. And it got real bad. I left my children with my mother for about a month and I was selling drugs and living on the street. And one day I just woke up, heard a voice saying, you gotta stop. It's either you're gonna get worse, you're gonna end up going to the trap house or you're gonna die. So I called my mom and she said that you need to go get help. So then she found out about the New Orleans mission and went, I went there the next day. Been here about four months. It's been great. Like, I'm not the same person I've used to be. Um, God has saved me, has restored my family. I get to see my kids every weekend. I'm working on trying to get in touch with my other child. I work in the kitchen. I, um, I do a lot of things around here, like a lot about Bible study. Um, I'm fixing to uh, graduate in about four months and look for work. I could have died or something doing what I was doing and God brought me out of all that.